Hey gang, welcome back to another edition of Vinyl Thoughts. Yes, you guessed it, we are continuing counting down my top 10 favorite albums of all time. Today, we're at number six. So when I first heard this album, I was in, I believe, the seventh grade, which would have been 1990. 89 or 90. Fuck, I don't I don't really remember. Um, but I do remember that in my math class, there was a girl who was into heavy music like I was. And uh, she let me borrow two albums that she thought were pretty fucking cool. The first one was the debut album from Trickster. Yeah, that one. Um, all right. But the second album that she let me borrow was... This one, State of Euphoria by Anthrax. This was my introduction to the band Anthrax and also pretty much my introduction to thrash metal. I'd heard thrash metal songs, but this was the first full thrash metal album that I ever heard. And look at what happened to me. So State of Euphoria uh, was Anthrax's fourth album and uh, came out in 1988. And uh, some people think it's kind of a weak album. I think even the band members have said that it was not as good as they had hoped. Um, I think in recent years, they've kind of gone back on that because I think a lot of fans are just like, dude, you guys are insane. It's fucking great. Anyway, I think um, it didn't perform as well as Among the Living did and they had higher hopes for the band. So maybe that's part of it. But to me, Sure, it may not be as iconic of an album as Among the Living, but to me, the production on State of Euphoria is better. It's probably the best of anything they put out in the 80s. And for some reason, the songs to me, they just seem to fit together so nicely. This is one of those albums that every song flowing into the next song just seems perfect. Maybe it's because I've heard this album like 200 times. But um, it just feels like a perfectly put together album. All the songs have their own unique characteristics. There's shit loads of badass fucking riffage all over this motherfucker. And uh, it's probably my favorite uh, Joey Belladonna vocal album because he just sounds fucking amazing on this record. He is one of my favorite metal singers ever. And uh, this is all of these reasons or why this album is one of my favorites of all time. Um, on, instead of choosing a different Anthrax album. Um, so, as usual, let's take a look at the vinyl here. Look at that. Look at those great songs. Be All End All, uh, 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 Out of Sight, Out of Mind, Make Me Laugh. I mean, there's every, every fucking song. Of course, Antisocial, which was like their big, you know, hit off of this album. Um, and this is an 88 pressing of this album. Um, and there you go, some liner notes. Cool pick of the band, of the dudes hanging out in their jams. Um, and then, uh, hold on a second. There you go. On Mega Force. Um, so, yeah. So, another thing about State of Euphoria is that when it came out in 1988, it had some pretty stiff competition because all of the big four of Thrash released albums in that year. You had Injustice for All from Metallica. Uh, you had South of Heaven by Slayer, and uh, you had, uh, uh, oh, So Far So Good So What from Megadeth. All fucking amazing albums. So maybe at the time, maybe they didn't stand out from the crowd as much. I guess with an album like Justice, it's kind of tough. Uh, but I don't know. To me, State of Euphoria stands on its own, and, and not only that, Anthrax stand on their own. They're one of my favorite thrash metal bands, one of my favorite bands of all time. Um, and yeah, so that is why State of Euphoria is uh, my pick for theirs in my top 10, and it comes in at number six. So uh, as usual, please feel free to put your comments down below and let me know what you think of this album or what your favorite Anthrax album is. Or if any of you are playing along, what is your number six album of all time? Uh, so yeah, once again, please Continue to uh, uh, like and subscribe and tell your friends. And thank you so much for watching. And I will be back again with another video before you fucking know it. Bye.